everyone, my name is Poppy and I'm one of the assistant curators for collections here at the Wordsworth Trust. We're going to be looking inside the Southeast Cabinet of Curiosities. Cabinets of Curiosity uh, were basically the first ever museums. They were people's personal collections of weird and wonderful treasures and these would often be collected from all corners of the world, especially as travel became much more widespread and people began to discover new places. Um, you would bring back specimens or natural history pieces, um, human anatomy pieces, people had artworks in there, spiritual things, all kinds of stuff. So a cabinet of curiosity was really just a bizarre amalgamation of all of these different disciplines, um, little treasures, little pieces, and you could wow your guests with them when they came to see, see your home. Uh, so this particular collection um, came to the Wordsworth Trust from Greta Hall, which was the home that Salvi shared with Coleridge, um, and it's stored in a chest that is marked with Robert Salvi's name, um, but we think the collection probably came from his daughter Edith May Salvi and her husband and her father-in-law, um, because Henry de Grey Water, who is Edith's father-in-law, he was like a lover of natural history, and a lot of the things seem to be later than Salvi's life. Time. So we think they're probably collected from like the mid 1800s. Uh, so I've picked a few drawers and I've personally not ever seen inside these drawers before. Let's see what weird and wonderful treasures are inside. So we have a tiny needle case in the shape of a lute. I think this was made by Edith Salvi who was Salvi's eldest daughter. We've got the harp in the collection as well. So I have seen something kind of along those lines before. Got some little figurines. Got a little packet here with some writing on it. Some manuscripts. <gasps> oh! It's Herbert Coleridge's hair. A lock of Herbert Coleridge's hair for dear godmama. So Herbert Coleridge was Sarah Coleridge's son, Samuel Taylor Coleridge's daughter, Sarah, her son. Um, oh, and it's, it's a piece of his hair. He's very blonde. There's a teeny tiny seal on it as well. He's 19 months old. This is from Waterloo, 1815. How amazing is that? I don't know what it is, it seems like a kind of medallion or something. It's phenomenal. And then we've got loads of boxes. These are from all over, bits of sapphire and ruby from cape somewhere. There's all kinds of stones in here. Well, there's a tiny brown box says it contains a moonstone. Oh, it really is tiny. Little moonstone in there. Which is quite nice. Oh, I know what this is. There's a lot of playing cards in here. Um, decks of cards. And I've read One of them is a tarot card deck, which I am very excited about. Um, so we'll see if this is this is that deck. I don't know, just seems like it's just normal. They look hand illustrated actually. Some playing cards. Nice. This might be it. This one feels less complex. Oh, these are strange. These are astrological cards. So I've got one here that says Virgo on it. This must be the tarot cards. So, so yeah, we have here old tarot cards, and there's the swords. Um, um, and there's cups. Cups is the suit that symbolises your emotions. Tarot cards. So this box 
says it contains a snake skin from Mr. DeWater uh, from India. So let's, let's have a look at that. Wow. It really does contain a snake skin. So we're going to have a look at the second drawer. Okay. So we've got a lot of natural history in this one from first glance. Um, there's a lot of talons and shells. Interesting. We've got some bangles. Another bangle. Also, this little packet says it contains hanging of Bonaparte's bathroom and bed and drawing room at. And then there's an address that I can't read. Wow. Okay. Let's let's see. So it's little scraps of of I think wallpaper or his interior decor. That's crazy. It's so bright and there's a lot of detail on the on the fabrics. It seems to be Hessian backed. Wow, we have good taste. What have we got here? RMS Lusitania sunk on her return journey from the United States in 1915. Oh, that's the Lusitania German medal. That's really cool. That's double sided. Wow, and there's a newspaper clipping in there with it. See, this is later than a lot of other things in this collection. What's this? It's very bright. I like it. Any guesses as to what this might be? <laughs> it's a... It might be riddles, it might be flashcards, it might be a study aid. It might be... Sort of like Wisdom of Day journals. <laughs> They're really cool. Oh yeah, yeah, I think it is riddles. My first is a question, the negative side. In my second, a warrior reposes. My something has the failure of fortune supplied and has drawn out the thorns from the roses. Oh, this must be the geological drawer. There's a lot of, of rocks in here. This is a mummified frog. Or, I think it's a frog. It's, yeah, it's, it's definitely very dead. You can see its feet. I'm fascinated in a way. I can totally picture that being in, in someone's cabinet of oddities. <laughs> okay, well, there is clearly tons more to explore, but I think that's probably it.